Hello and welcome back or if this is your first time here my name is Siobhan I'm happy to have you and this is a different video um, as far as the makeup look if you're interested in that this video is going up before the video of me doing this makeup I'll try to remember to come back and put in a card for that video once it's up but even if you're not interested in the makeup look, I do talk a lot about like my personal life. I tell some personal stories in that video. Um, so that's a thing that's there once it's up. This will probably be up a week or so before that one. Anyway, there's this thing that happened recently. It's not a very big thing. It was just three people left three separate comments talking about my weight or my looks, whatever, said things like, <clears throat> I don't remember all three of them. I know one of them said something like, makeup's not gonna hide that double chin. I film my videos in front of a mirror. I edit my own videos. I know that I'm fat. I am not bothered by fat comments. I've really never been bothered by fat comments, but it did make me think about how I wanted to talk about engagement a little bit and the type of engagement that matters to me. So engagement in general is good for the channel. So whether you leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down, YouTube doesn't care. It's all the same. These are here to let me know whether or not you're interested in the type of content that I'm making. So if you leave a thumbs up, I'm to assume that you liked the video and you wanna see more videos like that. If you leave a thumbs down, it just means that you don't like that kind of content and that that's not something that I should keep making if you give me a lot of thumbs down. This, however, is not how people treat these buttons here on YouTube. The way that the viewers treat them is punishment or reward. So if you do something that I don't like, you say something that I don't like, or I don't think that I like you as a person and I wanna punish you, I leave a thumbs down. <coughs> womp womp. If I really like you, or if I like something you say or something you did, or if I just generally wanna show you support, then I leave a thumbs up. Yay! <coughs> Okay, so that's all well and good. Again, these are both engagement and engagement is good for the channel. Engagement is the same to me, whether you leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So there's that. But the same day that I got these comments, I also had a lot of thumbs downs on my video. And I think that there are creators who would then say, what's going on? what's wrong with my content? What do I need to change? Again, these as engagement, great. These don't tell me anything about what I should do with my content. So what does tell me? Comments tell me. Views tell me. So if I have a video that has an average of 30 seconds worth of views, then I can assume that people don't like my intro, which I think people might not like my intro. There's a lot of people who click off right when I say my name. What's wrong with my name? It means goat meat. It's a great name. Anyway, so if there's something that you want me to know about a video, whether it's something you love, something you hate, something you would like to see done different, an idea you want to see me do, leave a comment and not for engagement purposes to make YouTube look at my video and be like, oh, this is a video that people are really liking. Does it help with that? Absolutely. Do I appreciate any comments that are left and try to respond to every one of them? Yes, because that matters to me. It matters to me that you took time to leave a comment for me. In that way, engagement matters to me on a personal level. But as far as whether you are trying to tell me what you want to see in a future video or whether you liked the video, a thumbs up tells me that you showed up at the video. 
it doesn't really indicate to me that you like a video because that's not how the majority of people use it. And I'm not able to look at upvotes and downvotes and determine that people do or do not like a video or that people do or do not want to see more videos like that. I, as a person, am not particularly comfortable asking people to like and subscribe. So I just throw it in as quickly as I can somewhere in my video. Sometimes. I would say 50% of my videos I don't do like or subscribe and it probably hurts me as a channel but it would hurt my soul more if it was something that I like if I was just begging for people to watch me. I want people to watch me because they enjoy watching me because they enjoy my content because they want to interact with me not because I begged them to be there. This has at this point sort of unintentionally turned into something that I look at as more of a job, but that's because I'm unemployed in a society right now where I can't go look for employment. It's not even an option for me to try to find employment right now because nobody is hiring, because nobody is doing interviews, and it's a crazy, crazy world. So I would love for this channel to be successful. I would love for everybody who is here to stick around and to become like our own little club here on our own little part of the internet. It's weird for me to say family because I never really had family, but I want us to get to know each other. I want to get to know my viewers. I want my viewers to actually give a shit about my content. Sorry for swearing. I try to keep it family friendly so that you can watch with your kids. But I feel really passionate about this. And comments matter. Engagement matters. But it's not going to bother me if people come in and leave negative comments. It just doesn't get to me. Um, I... <laughs> respond with things like hashtag truth because um you're right but I'm not going to waste time engaging people who are just there to be trolls and jerks and uh yeah if it ever got really bad I would probably just have my boyfriend like um do that thing where he looks at the comments. Words aren't working for me right now. I don't know. If it ever got really bad, I would probably just have somebody else like go through the comments. And honestly, my boyfriend loves to engage with trolls. I would just let him respond to those people. They could have entire arguments on my YouTube that I did not care about. Uh, but yeah, I, I know that other people see those too. Please don't be offended on my behalf. I, again, I know that I'm fat, I don't care. I, nothing that somebody who is sitting at a computer or on their phone somewhere, currently I'm guessing the reason that happened because they are sitting in isolation just like I am and just like you are being bored and thinking that maybe they're going to engage somebody. I, I, I am sorry that they are unhappy and that their happiness is somehow derived from telling a stranger that they don't like how they look. Don't look at me. Don't watch my channel. I don't care. Um, for the rest of you, for those of you who leave lovely comments, for those of you who really have been here either from the beginning or who are brand new, but have really taken the time to watch my videos and interact, I do care about you and I do appreciate you. And it means so much to me that you take the time to interact with me. Like, I'm just some random person in the middle of the United States 
who enjoys makeup and hopes that I am making a positive place for you to hang out. I know that I'm not the funniest or always the most interesting, but I hope that I can have a place that is drama free, that I tell stories about myself, that is real, and where you know that anything that I ever tell you on this channel is 100% from the heart and honest. And I don't know exactly where my channel is going to go in the future. I don't know if it's always going to be so incredibly makeup focused. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I'm hoping that it grows enough that I have a future because it's going to be really disappointing if I get to a point where I have to go back to work 40 hours a week and I'm not doing well enough for it to make sense for me to continue putting time and money into this. So that's a real thing. Also, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're planning on doing it around makeup, it can become very expensive very quickly. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to, um, but it's much more difficult to do well if you're not spending money on new makeup. I am really focused as much as I can be on right now. I have been focused as much as I can be on using what I already have instead of purchasing. And a lot of that is just I have so much makeup and I don't need to buy more. And sometimes there are things like the Natasha Denona that really just catch my eye and I couldn't say no. But those are things that I would buy anyway. I'm not, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not buying anything because I'm making videos. Okay, I'm just rambling now. I just really wanted to say, like, don't like, it's up to you. If you really want to engage with my channel, leave a comment. Because that's how I know that we are building a genuine friendship here on the internet. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will talk to you soon.